Philippi Franks ended up making my top 10 quarterback rankings at number nine. And by top 10, obviously, I mean heading into the draft, not period. Uh, and the reason for it is because there is a lot of good that you can see with Franks. Honestly, his highlights are as good as any quarterback you'll see coming out of the draft. The, re- the issue is that just it's more of a consistency thing. But let's start off with sort of the positive and show some highlights. So like we'll start off with this play. What's going to end up happening on this one is that really the key thing to watch is just going to be the pressure off the edge right there. That's the main thing you're going to want to notice because it's not going to get uh, picked up. It looks like this might have been a designed rollout to the bottom of the screen, but the pressure is going to come so quickly, it's going to kind of d- disrupt things. Like, watch. So you're going to see that the pressure comes. Franks has to get outside the pocket, but is outside the pocket. So, you know, kind of no harm, no foul. He does have a receiver he wants to hit, but he's going to have to make this throw. And it's going to be kind of an awkward angle. He's running to his left, which already makes things a little bit more difficult, being that he's a right-handed quarterback. And on top of this, you know, he's going to have to throw kind of across his body not entirely, but a little bit, which is going to make that just a little even more difficult. So this is not an easy throw, and there's plenty of prospects that I have higher ranked than him that couldn't make this kind of throw. And watch, you know, good hip rotation, is able to make this throw, and is able to, you know, it's really accurate, then that's going to be a touchdown right there. That's just a incredible throw, and that looks like one of those, you know, Zach Wilson-type plays, or, you know, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. It looks like one of those plays. I think a lot of people who see that are going to say, whoa, look at this guy. And to be honest, when I first started watching tape, I believe this was the game I started with. Not, I can't remember exactly, but I saw one of those plays and was like, oh my God, he can do this? This guy's, this guy's incredible. There's too many flaws though. For one thing, he will miss those throws too. It's not like he makes all of them. The consistency is a bit of an issue. And he just has sort of some fundamental issues. Like, let's start right here. Very simple play. Going to run a play action. Uh, there's going to be a, sort of a player lined up in a fullback position who's going to run. That's who where Franks is going to throw to. Very simple play. And watch. Franks takes the snap. And really, you notice, I mean, he has an open player right here. This, is, this should be a very easy throw to make. It's not too far. Now, he does have to get it a little bit up you know you have to get it over to offensive linemen and defensive linemen there's a linebacker in the area so you do have to get it a little bit up but it's not a difficult throw to make really what i want you to watch is going to be his footwork on this play it reminds me a lot of drew lock and that's not a good thing when someone's footwork reminds you of drew lock watch how he jumps back like that which results in him overthrowing it man it gets to be an interception and that just can't happen really And honestly, this play and his, you know, really good throw can kind of go hand in hand in a way. The two plays I showed you, because he kind of can get the sort of the mindset that, oh, I can make any throw on whatever platform. But the reality is having proper fundamentals is going to make that a lot easier. It is something he can learn. But the reality is there's far more Drew Locks that have a fundamental issue and just end up continuing to have it in the NFL Then there are Justin Herberts who, you know, he had some issues in college as well, but he got through them and has turned into a great player. Although, again, kind of the hope is that maybe you could fix it. There is at least some potential and that could actually make him a lot more accurate. And like, watch, I want to show a play like this now. It's going to be a rollout to the bottom of the screen. And the reason why I want to show this play is because this is absolutely a guy who can make off-platform throws more often than he misses them. Watch, he takes the snap and he is going to roll out. You see the player he wants to hit. This is not necessarily the most easy of throws. It's not the most difficult you'll ever see, but it's going to be kind of tough. However, he does make this throw off balance, and it's just a perfect strike. And again, that's kind of the upside with Franks is that he can make a play like that. I would say that his throwing motion has a bit of an issue. I would say it's a bit too long. Uh, You know, typically when you throw, sort of there's a certain point that you don't want to go past. He kind of goes a bit too far. However, one thing that I would say is kind of less of an issue with him as it is for some other guys who do that, such as Kyle Trask and Justin Fields. I think he at least has a much quicker motion when doing that. So while it's a bit longer than I would like, just in terms of how his arm is actually moving, in terms of time, it's not actually as bad as some of these other guys. Like watch right here. You're going to see uh, it's going to be a play action, receiver running over the middle. This is the cover two zone that he's going to be going up against. And against zone coverage with these kind of routes, you know, play action, 
timing is everything. And he's going to have to, you know, move his hands down to sell the play action, get his hands back up. There is a lot of work here involved and the timing is going to be very key. But watch how he runs this play action. And again, watch the quick release. Yes, it's a bit far back, but he, he gets rid of it very quickly, which is, you know, it's still not maybe ideal, but it's fine. You can, you're certainly okay with that. One last play. This is another good example. Again, this is I, I couldn't stop thinking of Drew Locke when making this video because there just there are those there's those similarities. There are. Uh, this one's going to be a cover two man play, and it's the halfback who's running around to the sideline. That's what he's going to end up throwing towards. But again, with the cover two, there's two safeties deep, and really, if Franks wants to make this throw. Unless the safety on that side of the field gets taken away by a different route, the chances are you're going to have to try and kind of bullet this one in there as opposed to lobbing it. But watch, once this play starts, you're going to notice that so Franks does kind of lob this one. Not a complete lob, but there's too much air under that. You want to get it there quicker. If you want to make this throw, there's honestly not a ton of separation. But if you do want to make this throw, that's okay. Like, you can do that. I'm not going to kill him for making that decision. But you got to get get it there quicker because the safety now has time to run over and get into the play. So, again, some of these sort of IQ issues in terms of football IQ, also in terms of, you know, I, I would say that the fundamentals are a bit of tough. But again, he does have a big arm and he it can absolutely move and really good pocket presence. But this time it just gets intercepted. Not 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 his best moment for sure. So yeah, that's kind of what I think about him. I would draft him. He's in my draftable camp. Absolutely. He's somebody that I would say, yeah, you should draft this guy. He's you know, got a lot of talent. Uh, he, there are some issues. I don't think I, I would spend anything more than like a, at most a fourth round pick just because there's a good bust factor, but there is maybe that boom factor a little bit too, which you don't see with a lot of these other guys that I ranked below him. So there's stuff I like about him, stuff I don't like about him, but he's an interesting prospect, I would say. And his tape is fun to watch. If you just, if you want to evaluate sort of a mid tier quarterback uh, or mid tier prospect, He's a fun one to do it. I would say that, you know, he's he's just entertaining. Whether he's missing throws or making throws, it's just a lot more fun than, you know, some of these other guys who are just kind of like, eh, whatever. So I, I recommend watching his tape. But yeah, I, I think that there is a small chance of really good success. More likely than not, though, it probably won't work out. But hey, but might be worth taking a flyer on. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.